Days nine and 10, side skirts and front bumper. Here we go. Yeah. This needs to just be in the back most corner we can get it in. Yeah, but right we want there. some, we want some room. So if it breaks, because it goes this, it goes this way, obviously. But you want some meat, right? So if it breaks, we have room to repair it. Okay, and then is there room between here for this nut and stuff? Mm. It's gonna be tight, but I think we might be able to pull it off. Yeah. You won't have much stud sticking out. It's all gonna be on the inside. Well, that's, that's a good thing. So we're trying to mount the skirt. It's obviously kind of confusing to do it quick release. So we're just gonna end up drilling a hole right through it to uh, place the location, like where it fits best on the skirt. And then we're gonna run the stud through the back. So that's the plan. We're just gonna, gonna mark it and put the hole right in the middle where we can. And cause it's kind of no perfect way to do it. I'm sure there is, but we're not too crucial. Getting this thing flush. just mark the location and then we'll drill it with the skirt off. Yeah. Probably best that should do it. Action. That worked. So we're just using the Chinese quick releases. So hopefully they aren't too good at quick releasing because that would be bad. I might want to stick it out a little more than that because the uh, skirt don't have any room it's gonna have to be all the way in oh it can't come out well it can come out that's what i'm I, saying i'm saying that by the time you put that button in there we we're gonna be lucky if that's enough really we, we're gonna need to go that way probably. oh wow i mean i don't mind if it sticks out as long as the doors can close okay there we go i think you want to yeah, maybe we do. Yeah, maybe we do all the or the last ones. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Boom. There we go. That yeah, fits pretty good. That works. Let's see if it fits. Yeah. See, we're sticking out, Hayden. Does it fit we? though? Well, we need to adjust in. I want to try to adjust it in as far right. as we can. You're like last threads, weren't you? Yeah, pretty much. Like here? Yeah. That's all it is. Like so, kind of the same. Just don't tighten these too tight or you'll crack the hell out of your fiberglass. And when you're done, red or blue lock, I'd probably just blue lock tight them. Probably good. Okay, and somehow we gotta Oh. All right, so we got the hole drilled. He's gonna drill a hole in the trailer cap. Or the hub cap or you know, bearing, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. It goes on the center of like a trailer wheel. We're gonna weld it to the back of here. With that hole drilled in there, we can then run that stud through it and that mounts farther back. So now the gap on the skirt can be pushed in instead of being held up by that. That's an ugly gap.
kind of ribbed at the middle for now, just to have options. Not there. Cool. I like nuts. Yeah? <laughs> Don't we all? That's a great sound. There we go. What size rib nuts are those? Uh, M8. M8 rib nuts, mate. Have been tacky. That was awful. Thank you. That was awful. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. Nice. What happens? We uh, went to on? throw a nut on, and the nut dirt pushed through the hole, so um, he couldn't. We just had that tiny little flange, and if you get the drill bit just a tiny bit oogled or a tiny bit big, that flange will just pull right through the hole. Yeah, so we'll just throw one right here. So we're just gonna throw another one next to it. You think? Yeah. Take two. Take two. Yeah. This is an out insert. You find the smallest hole possible that it fits in, and then you take your drill bit, and that's how you decide because you want the smallest hole. Drift spec. It's the damn fender. You know, it's active arrow because it yeah, flexes. Exactly. What the f? <laughs> Sick. Tight. Mmm, nice hole. So, this is our solution to quick release side skirts on the front fenders. The rears work if you have over fenders because it. The gap, it gets hidden, but the front sticks out. So we actually relocated where this mounts to instead of mounting directly to this fender, cause there would be a gap. You just take like a wheel, like a trailer bearing cap and you chop the edge to fit in the corner and drill a hole in it. So you can get these anywhere. So if you screw them up, you can kind of get a new one if you need one. It sits in there. So now it's still adjustable but it sits back farther so that now you can clip the skirt on um, and then the nut sticks into the fender so now it's flush instead of sticking out. So that is the solution. You're welcome. You're welcome.
So it's day 10, I believe. Wednesday. And we're doing some front bumper mounting. This stud, pro tip, if you get the Asian ones, or maybe the other ones, the same thread pitch as the stud, you can pull the bolt out for the fender. This bad boy screws right in. No drilling, nothing necessary. You just gotta get some dum dum or something on the end. Stick your bumper over, place it, drill it, boom. Now if this doesn't catch, you just put a socket over it and bend it. Whichever way it catches best on the bumper. So I'm gonna quick release here, and then I'm actually gonna zip tie here, just because, I mean, might as well. No, it's not perfect quick release, but it's much better than a um, bunch of bolts and <laughs> So, there we go. So the whole fender bracket where we screwed this in is the same pitch. So we're just using the bolt that we pulled out of it. Obviously an extend, extended socket extension and just torquing it over so that it moves this from being straight out to aimed a little this way because the quick releases uh, need to be pretty straight. You have like 15 degrees the other way. But this is the easiest way to do it. There we go. Drilled, so we had to put the stud in there and then we just bent it about I don't know 10 degrees, 10 degrees here to fit the angle. And that should work. And so we can still adjust it out because it's still straight. Pull this bolt out, throw the stud in there. Be careful before you bend it, because once you bend it, you can't go in anymore, so make sure you're inside. It's kind of hard to measure it, because we bent the other one. There we go. It's pretty even. So it's just parallel with this guy, pretty much. Parallel with this fender. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna put some paint on the end of the stud, put the bumper on. Gonna tuck the bumper in. This is how you get your whole location on here. You're gonna to want to clearance that. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to die grind that a little bit. Okay. There's a perfect place to mark. Let's go right in the middle there. So it's the front one. Should I start with a quarter bit or can I just use the step bit? It's the very front one that kind of looks round. Yeah. That's up to you. I would just step, step it. it. So I'll get your locator from the back, come to the front. There you have it. So, we're going to be doing a whole breakdown on how you can do this yourself i showed you guys a bit kind of what you need to do how to do like a flush quick release side skirt how to throw a quick release pretty simply on your front bumper the easy way to do it um how to do the quarters everything and i'm going to do breakdown videos on all of them just piece by piece to make it much simpler instead of i'm doing this doing that all this stuff going on like we're doing this because we're kind of in work mode but I promise there will be full videos on how to do this. And it's fairly simple. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you're learning some stuff. I hope that you continue watching our videos and don't turn them off at uh, 45 seconds of me talking. Is there some good shit in there to learn? You guys gotta edit that out. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a good night. Please just like, comment, subscribe to the videos. It helps us a lot. It makes us feel good inside our souls. Huge, huge, huge shout out to almost 300 subs. Tell your friends, 
Hey family, we're cool. Hit us up, ask us questions. A lot of you have actually. Yes. Which is really cool. We love love that. Yeah, Kara loves that. But <laughs> it's really cool because it's like our way of giving back and it means that it's working. It's getting out to people, you know, so. This is the talking we're talking about. Yeah, I talk a lot. <laughs> but really, the car is not in its final form, but damn, does it look good. It is not the same car it was 10 days ago. This angle though. This car with the kit and some terrible rivet. That's all rivets. Um, the back of the car, I'm like really proud of the quarters. Um, so, sorry, talking a lot again. Let us know, hit us up. What do you want to see us do? Like, what do you need info on? What would be helpful? What do you guys like? What do you guys dislike? Probably my talking. <laughs> um, and what color you think the car is going to be painted in a couple weeks? If you get it right, congratulations, you win nothing. But just let us know. And if you're right, <laughs> we'll reach out to you. And I don't even know what we'll do. We'll send you a sticker or something. Yeah. Cool. Sounds yeah. good. If you already know the color, shut your filthy mouth. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Yeah, that's right. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Watch our videos more than once, more than 30 seconds of the video. That'd be sick. And huge shout out to all our subs and supporters. Love you guys. Have a good night. Peace.